Hello everyone! Today's plan for my December plan with me is to do uh, another one of those no edits kind of deals because for one thing, um, uh, next Sunday's video is going to be a little bit more involved and so I basically just don't want to have to do extra editing. So uh, first we're going to be starting off with this insert. This is from My Summer Touch and I forget exactly what it's called. It's called like monthly, I don't remember. It's, it's her new, it's like brand new monthly um, and it's got like everything on here. She managed to squeeze it all into this tiny little um, pocket size. It's got one little fold out here. So this is one side and this is the other side. Last month I had it on like the back to back or not back to back, not back to back, side to side. Um, this time I'm trying it back to back to see how I like that because really both sides are kind of different things. So on this side, I'm just going to start by putting the focus for the month. I like that there's a section here for that. And obviously that's going to be Christmas. So put big things here, right? Gifts. Decorations. Cards, and then we'll fill that up more if we need to. Um, let's see, I need a couple more. So I'm going for a very traditional red and green theme for the month. So the idea of this thing here on the side, I don't know exactly what it's designed for. Last month I tried using it as like a future calendar thingy. And then I realized that's really not what it's designed for at all. It's got basically a little grid line here for, um, oh, interesting. This one doesn't have a header section on it. I'm gonna highlight this Sunday slot instead because I'm going to be using this for, um, I believe, using this for like my focus for the day as far as like channel planning stuff. So what I do in the morning and evening. Um, so I'm going to fill that out as I need to later, but maybe I should fill out the dates on there to make it a little bit easier to read. Here is my future log. And up here, December 2nd, two, three, four, five, six, so whenever I do these um, unedited plan with me videos, I hope you guys are finding something to do while you watch this because I think it would probably be pretty boring to just sit down and watch me in my planner. But you know what? You do you. I just feel like this is kind of perfect for, um, you know, folding clothes or doing your own planning or whatever to just kind of have this on in the background while I we keep each other company. So I hope you guys are having a good rest of your November. Uh, this video is going out on Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to you, those of you in the US and happy very belated Thanksgiving to our friends in Canada. Um, Yeah, it's like, this is when I really start Christmas planning in earnest, obviously. Um, I've always been the one who's like reticent to start anything Christmassy until Advent starts. Um, and that has been the way I've been doing it. Uh, I just don't even think about it until Thanksgiving is over. But um, I think next year I might do it differently. Because I saw this thing. Um, so I want to make sure I get this right. Here, 11.30, 11.30, this is my work day. So this is just for like your weekly schedule and I'm actually just gonna copy it from last month's. Uh, where did it go? There we go. This is what I did for November in here. So I saw this uh, thing on Facebook what was it called? Yeah. It was some like Catholic women's Facebook group, right? And they're doing this challenge. I think it was called shop till you drop on your knees and pray or something like that. Um, so the idea, because I've always thought that, 
you know, doing Christmas shopping before Advent was like, or any sort of Christmas prep before Advent just kind of felt sacrilegious or whatever. Like, oh, you know, the world says that Christmas starts as soon as Halloween is over. But, you know, I'm not of the world. I don't start decorating until Advent is half over, which the thing is, you still can do that. But the shopping is not particularly spiritual, religious or anything, right? That's not part of prepping for Christmas as a holy day. So this is making sense to me. Basically, the point of this challenge that I found or saw and I'm thinking about doing next year. It's too late now, but it's um, a challenge that's set up for, you know, there's like tasks for every week for the six weeks leading up to Advent, the six weeks before Advent. So that takes you into October. And uh, Labor Tuesdays. So basically you, the, the goal is to have all of your Christmas shopping bought and wrapped before Advent even starts with the goal then of spending Advent actually, you know, in prayer and preparation for the holy day of Christmas after all of the, you know, quote unquote holiday prep is done. So you have, you know, anything that can be done early, done early. And then anything that oh, I need to do the car insurance this month. Anything that can be done early is done early and anything that can't be is planned. You know, so you already have your, you know, shopping list for Christmas or whatever, I think, ready. Like uh, food and stuff like that. So, let's see. Yeah, if anyone ever looks at our, um, like, debt tracker and stuff in here and wonders why we have so much student debt with two incomes, it's because our mortgage payment is $3,500. It's just what California's like. So, there you go. So, that's one half. Um, I think I probably want to decorate this a little bit, but not yet. So, the idea here, I'm thinking, is to do tasks on this side and events on this side. Let me pull out all the washi tape I wanted. Let me get the sort of solid grip pulled one out. There you go. Uh, do it's kind of cool. She's got a uh I don't know a row here for Sunday through uh Saturday and then a row here for Monday through Sunday. Personally. I do my, I plan my weeks Monday through Sunday because I like to keep my weekends together, but I do my calendars Sunday through Saturday because that's just the way the calendar makes sense to me, having the weekends on the ends. So there you go. Just cover the one you don't need. I'm going to grab a couple of pens here. I don't know which color. Oh, that's not red. There we go. I need my future log again. And I'm going to do, I'm going to fill out the calendar first. So Sunday is the first. This is one of those very special and rare years that um, commercial advent calendars, you know, like the ones with chocolate or Legos, um, line up with the actual advent calendar of like the first Sunday and all that. So if you don't know, I, I'm not sure if I did, a, if I talked about this part, I did a video on advent, I think last year. Anyway, um, advent goes for four Sundays before Christmas. So it varies in length by up to a week. So you've got here Wednesday the 25th, right, is Christmas. So the Sunday before that is the 22nd. Sunday before that is the, this is the worst way to do a calendar. <laughs> so one, two, three, four Sundays. So the first Sunday of Advent is the first uh, day of December. 
So Advent is 24 days this year. So that's fun. Fun little bit of trivia for you. Um, Advent is, it, it kind of depends. So you know how Thanksgiving is super late this year. Um, sometimes the Sunday after Thanksgiving is the first Sunday of Advent and sometimes it's Christ the King, which is, this year it's Advent. So there we go. I've got, now that that's filled in, I actually have like kind of two rows here. So let me see. Yeah, that fits. Let's grab a bit here. Trim it. All right, so last month when I set this up, the goal was to have this one through 10 to be for like wins, you know, goals and achievements and positive things. I haven't filled it out mostly yet. Um, I might still, who knows? Um, I'm going to leave it blank for just now because I'm not sure how I want to do it. Let's put well, 12 in the corner here and the word December here. Mm -hmm. that I can talk while I date a calendar but not while I write out a word okay and then we'll do a bit of green green washi across the top here because I basically just <laughs> cover up all of the labels and things it's like don't tell me how to use my planner spread I'm always about hacking it so I can make it my own. A little bit of, uh, oh, okay, so it folds right here. So let's actually, yeah. Okay, I'll see what happens. If I leave it like this, we'll see if it, if it gives me a hard time, I might just take like a razor blade to it, very carefully trim it. Okay, so it folds back and forth like that. So this is, uh, tasks and this is events and I will go ahead and highlight the weekends Oops. Seven, eight, 15, 9, 10, 12, 28, 29. excellent and then Days off, like yes. I get Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off from work, and then I have to take my floating holiday before the end of the year. So that's going to be on the 26th, and I don't know if we're getting Christmas Eve off yet. It's looking like if nothing changes, we won't, but they might still give it to us. I don't know. All right. Uh, events over here we have. What time is that? I haven't been writing times for things in my... Um, Uh, Wednesday here is also we're doing sort of Advent Bible study kind of thing. Wednesdays. Then 13th. The sixth is Mrs. Maisel. That's a task. A fun one. But, you know, I actually have to go and do it. All right, 28th. A bit of a family reunion thingy happening. On the weekend after Christmas. Then that's fine. And then, oh yeah. Event starts. It's also something to do. Alright, so that's 
that's that. And then I have to pull out, of course, my, let's see, there's no no December birthdays. And then here's my recurring tasks. Car insurance I already put. Mortgage I already put. Go 15th, of course. Razor. The third is sheets. The Here, I'll add this list is going to be for um, undated tasks. I'm trying, man, I have this journal that I I got like when I was like 39 weeks pregnant. Um, and the idea is like to write letters to Agnes throughout her life and give it to her like on her 18th birthday or something. It's, um, I keep forgetting, it's very sporadic, but it's better than nothing. And I guess it'll last longer if we don't use it as much, so. Beer filter and the fridge filter. Oh my gosh. We have a water filter in our fridge. And last time I replaced it and it flooded the uh, kitchen and the guest room. So I'm going to make Gino do it. <laughs> going to make Gino do it next time. All right, so the Kaiser bills are due on the 7th and the 13th. No, I thought I had two spots. I don't. Car insurance, I'll do. It's due on the 7th and the mortgage is due on the 31st. I'll just put the due date. Okay. And is that it? No. Clean the vacuum. And the um, you get a free Twitch subscription with your Prime membership, but it doesn't auto renew. So um, just make a point to to go in and do that once a month. And let's see, I want something to sort of decorative here. Because, like, as far as goals and things go, um, that's on the other side. Let's see what I have in here. I don't think there's anything particularly festive. Yeah. I don't think there's anything particularly festive, but there might be something sort of decorative. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use something Christmas year. I still have these from, like, two years ago. I went and I got... Um, some stickers from Hobby Lobby. This might fit. This one. Like this one. No. No. No, that's vertical. Yeah, we'll use this one. So, I haven't used them all. And obviously, this is like the only time of year I can, so. Though, honestly, this one should probably be used in January. Let's see. Pretty good. Pretty. Um, I don't know if there's really any more room for decorative things on the side. Maybe, maybe. Toss a little angel on there. Okay, there's room. Because all of these things is sort of, this is just sort of a general checklist of uh, major things. I'm not going to be using this intensely for project planning. Um, it's just a, you know, sort of reminder in the front that that's obviously the goal, as if the color scheme didn't already give that away. All right, so there we go. This is the My Summer Touch monthly um, on a fold out. It's like, yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, I don't think I actually explained that what I covered up here is the idea of this side um, is the one through 10 is supposed to be for 10 habits. And so this is the key for your habit tracker because it's, you know, she had to squish everything down. There wasn't room to put like the actual habits up here. So you write, you know, brush teeth, feed dog, whatever on here. And then um, 
you go, okay, that's task number four. And then you go, you know, column number four and you fill it in. I'm not using habit trackers right now. I'm just I'm taking a break from habit trackers for another, at least another month. All right, let's decorate this a bit. Do stripes or the stripes here? Here we go. So, like I said, this is the undate specific, not non-date specific tasks. Oh, you know what would be cool? Let me see. New plan, first of all. Does this fit? New. No, it doesn't fit. Oh, that was the other thing I didn't do. It still can. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put washi tape on the edges. Just here for the front section of planning. It's gonna be a long video, guys. I hope you like those. You know, I was realizing just this week, and it seems silly, because I sort of, you tend to assume that everybody else YouTubes the same way you do, right? Um, me, the way I YouTube is I, I subscribe to the channels I like, I go to my subscriptions first, um, and then anything that is from there that I want to see, you know, I don't watch every single video of everyone I'm subscribed to, but the ones that I do want to watch, I add to my watch later list, and then that's when I'm actually ready to sit down and watch, I'll watch my watch later list but like I basically will watch a bunch in a row and I never really even consider not finishing a video and I saw some people comment you know uh, like saying something about the end of their video like oh you know those of you who finish to the end and it's like yeah obviously not everybody I guess gets all the way to the end but I, I guess it wasn't something that that I really considered like, oh, I don't actually have to finish this video if it's boring. I actually don't have to watch it at all if I don't feel like it. So I have been getting a very full watch later list. So I actually went through and I got rid of some that I decided I didn't want to watch just because I really enjoyed a bunch of this person's videos, you know, a couple months ago. Doesn't mean that I have to enjoy them now. Oh boy. It just... just mm. It moved its head. Alright, there we go. So that's nice. See? Pretty. I'm going to do the same for this. So, anyway. Um, yeah. If, if you are here for the long haul, enjoy this very long video. Let's see. So today, right now the baby's asleep, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, today our, okay, so we call her Tita, but she's just a family friend, we're not actually related, is moving in. We are renting her our guest room, so that's going to be an adventure and something to get used to, because we have not had anyone other than ourselves living in this house. Um, when we first got married, I was living with my in-laws. We were, we were all in his parents' family's house for a while while we saved up for mortgage down payment. And then we moved straight out into a house that we own. Um, but as I already mentioned about, you know, having student debt as well as a large mortgage payment. And, you know, we're only making minimum payments right now. But with somebody renting a room, we should be able to pay them down a little faster, hopefully. So that should be good, as well as, you know, having another person in the house. So let me see. I'm thinking, thinking that I'm going to try something cutesy instead of the typical, I mean, if you watch my monthly plan with me, as you'll see what I usually do with this top box. This is the uh, categorized list insert from Peanuts Planner Co. 
and I use it for my next action items list, which I've done a whole video about. Where did my cutter card go? Yes. So normally I just do, you know, like a couple stripes of coordinated washing and stuff. Now I'm gonna try, oh, look at that, it's perfect. It fits just to the four. Oh, no, oh, there we go. Perfect. Yep, yep, perfect. Look at that, lines up nicely. Perfect. And then I'll put, I think, this one or this one, the stars, or maybe the gold stripes like I originally thought. Let's do gold stripe. Gold stripes. Lined up. Sometimes with the skinny washi, it's a little bit tricky to see if it's, it can kind of like wiggle back and forth, kind of curve in a way that wider washi won't. Just got like a whole big pile of washi scraps over here on my right. All right, there we go. And then across the middle, I think, to kind of cover up the seam a little bit better. Cute. I don't have like a bow or anything, but there you go. Does that look like a gift? See? <laughs> cute. Okay. Is it cute? I don't know. I'm going to pull out last month's just so I don't forget my categories. I don't know why I would, but there we go. First, things that take five minutes or less. Things that I can do anywhere. Things I need to do on the computer. Things I need to do at home. And errands. And we do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so I gotta have that many things to do. Really, it's not about how many things I have to do, it's about how many things I write down. Because sometimes I will just be like, I don't want to waste a line for this, you know, small little task. If it's some, if I'm already at home, you know, it needs to be done at home, I'll just do it. Or I'll write it on my weekly and then get it done and then never bring it over here. On my daily, on the brain dump page. Because it's kind of, it's back and forth. Like I kind of feel like I know where everything is when it's all on this list. But also, if there's a bunch of things on this list and you do half of them, and then you have to, is that kind of far enough? Okay. Um, you have to like dig through the list, it feels like, to find the things that still need to get done. And that's what's frustrating. Is that going? Nope, that's already done. That's already done. So generally it's not so much of an inconvenience that it doesn't still work, but it does make me really eager to move forward to the next month when I get the chance to take everything that's still on last month's list and move it to the new month. All right, and for this one, we will use this red ribbon. There we go. 
Although this year we have so many gift bags. I have an entire giant moving box of gift bags. Half of them are like baby shower gift bags still. Um, but you can also use a lot of those for um, just children's gifts generally. So I try to use them as much as I can. Um, but we also have a lot of Christmas gift bags and Amazon gift bags that can all be used for Christmas. So I was going to go out and get more wrapping paper. We have like three half rolls of wrapping paper from last year. And I'm realizing we have so many bags. And honestly, using gift bags is more environmentally friendly because you can reuse them. Um, so that is my plan is to try to do as little like physical wrapping as possible and mostly just use bags. Because we're not like flying anywhere, you know, where you need to like pack stuff more carefully or anything. All right, so there is my front monthly section. Um, I believe it's gonna be maybe this one front and then this one. I haven't really decided, but I think it's gonna be in this order in the front. And there's the back here, there we go. So the next bit to do I did this part as uh, last months as well, and I'm gonna try to keep it kind of short and sweet because it's not too elaborate. Is the um, this guy my all of my content planning? So where's uh, the ruler? It does have inches and centimeters. Okay, so I'm not. I don't know why I put a column for Twitter. I really don't use Twitter. Or honestly, my Facebook group. But I have them both. If you are on those platforms, feel free to follow me. Um, I honestly, I just have a Facebook group because that allows um, me to use this app called Later to um, four columns. Four, two, three, four, okay. Uh, it allows me to use an app called Later to schedule my Instagram posts. So it uses, you know, the Facebook API or whatever. Um, oh, that's it. Yeah. All right, so that's why there's a Facebook group. It allows it to uh, me to schedule and automatically publish Instagram photos. So if you've noticed this month, I've had an Instagram post every single day this month. That was the goal, but I'm not like logging onto Instagram at 11 o'clock every day to post them. That's how the magic works. I'm going to be doing a whole video about some of those services and programs and softwares and resources that I use for my blog and my YouTube channel. Um, and the fun thing about that is that they're all free. The only things that I've spent money on for my website, I spent money on hosting because you got to do that for the name, you know, because I don't want to be like blogspot.gonch or whatever. Um, and then for my YouTube channel, I, um, I have invested in some equipment, you know, between me and my husband, he, you know, invests in some stuff for me, um, because he, he just believes in me that much. Let's see, and I'm going to use red. Yeah, this is for YouTube. Insta blog and newsletter. And then I will mark across each week. I think, I don't know, hopefully if I have explained how this works enough times. Um, Three, four, 
four, five, six, seven is a Saturday, right? So yeah. There we go. I almost did this wrong last month. But basically, I will fill each of these boxes using my friction colors so that I can always rearrange it if I need to. Um, on the days that I need to have something ready to go. And then once it's scheduled, I check it off. So I can look ahead to the next, you know, line where the week ends and go, okay, look at the end of this week, everything's done. I don't have to do anything over the weekend if I don't want to. Which is where we are right now. Yeah, that's how I can show you. I'm filming this on the 23rd. This day right here. So I have tomorrow's um, video, which is, oh, both of these, the video and the blog are both my favorites, or it's like a thankfulness, thanks, Thanksgiving kind of video. Instagram is scheduled through Monday. So I know that like this weekend, I don't have to worry about it. I'll start up on Monday again with a new set of, you know, goals for the week. So that's the idea. I'm not going to fill out all these boxes right now because it's a little bit tedious, but We'll do that some other time. Then on the back in here, we just have the same, same thing. Where do the, the gift app situation again. Um, sorry. If this is gonna start to get really old. But these tasks here are specifically for content planning stuff. So I've, I've explained this ad nauseum. I wake up at five o'clock right now, lately, during the week, I wake up at five o'clock to work on stuff for my channel. And it's been working really well. I've been trying to like focus um, my efforts into scheduling a system that allows me to get everything I need to get done during the week so that on the weekends, um, well, for one thing, if there's an event that happens, it's not going to throw off my entire, you know, schedule and system because I wasn't able to work on videos that week and I won't have to scramble. Um, but even on weeks that we don't have weekend plans, I can then just focus on family time and spending that time with my husband and daughter. Though, here I am on a Saturday filming, so I was scheduled to film this yesterday, but instead we watched The Mandalorian, which also is family time, so yeah, it's it's a work in progress, but that's the goal. I've actually also scheduled um, meal prep, or meal planning, sorry, for Wednesdays and sh grocery shopping for Thursdays. So I'm now planning a Thursday through Wednesday meal schedule, which uh, allows me to not have to worry about it. Because then also I was finding that like on weeks that we had weekend plans, um, I wouldn't get meal planning done. And then I would be scrambling on Monday to get something to feed the family. So that's, that's how I'm doing it right now. I can recommend... Annie Smith's series of videos that she's been doing. I think maybe it was just two videos, but she did two videos. I'll link one of them um, about how she meal plans. And uh, it's really good and it inspired me to really just, just schedule it. <laughs> but I've been using um, the Walmart grocery pickup service. If you haven't tried it yet, it's really good. And actually, you know what, if you haven't tried it yet, I'll post my affiliate link down below. There's, you know, it gives like each of us, I think $10 or something off of your order, you know, if you want to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just really convenient because I, it's not that far out of my way to swing by on the way back from picking up the baby. So on those days that I'm picking up groceries, I just schedule it between five and six. I get there on 545, I think after I pick her up. So, you know, it's another stop. And she actually particularly hates having to stop and not being allowed to get out of her car seat. But that will get over. She'll get over that soon enough. And it's just, it's so convenient to not have to, you know, take her out. Like the other day we had to just stop for eggs. So we went to the regular grocery store. Um, and so I had to get her out. We had to walk across the parking lot. She wanted to walk. So we were just walking through the whole store. 
Dad, all the way to the very back corner, you know, across the entire hypotenuse of the grocery store to, um, to find the eggs. And then, you know, carefully trying to steer her around grocery carts because she's so short people wouldn't see her. And so all of that, um, it took a lot longer than these things would have done pre-baby. Um, so yeah, not having to do that is on a regular basis is nice. So that's what I have been doing. And I also actually just recently found an app called Drop. It's one of those like rewards program, like rebate shopping apps or whatever. There's so many of them and you can really only use one at a time. But this one works on Walmart Grocery. So you can, um, if you log in through the app, you can get like $3 worth of, I think, $3 worth of gift cards every time you order uh, Walmart Groceries. You can cash out every five dollars, I think. I haven't had a chance to cash out yet because I've only done it once. But I'll post that link as well below. Um, if you want to sign up through my link, I think we probably both get a bonus there as well. So there you go. Those are my tips. Check out Annie's video and then check out the links below. All right. And finally is just waiting on I'll do I'll do green this pen is starting to get old on me I like some things about it but I think it's a 0.38 and it's a little bit too fine for me um also, it's sort of skipping sometimes, so I don't know. I can't tell in here if it's running low or not. Um, I Though I have a Amazon gift card code coming for a, uh, a survey, so I'm going to wait until that comes and then get myself some Muji gel pens because I've heard good things about those. If you have like a cautionary tale about them, let me know quickly because I probably will order them as soon as that gift card comes in. So that's everything for my content section. Um, I also will reorganize. I don't even know if I have them to show you, but check out last. Oh, here we go. This is a gold planning. I use these inserts. I need to print out some more and I'll take all of the unfinished goals and move them forward to blank spreads. Same idea so that I don't have old ones clogging everything up. So that's the entire plan with me. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking through. Um, I hope you guys have been doing something fun with your life while you watch this video. <laughs> Subscribe if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed already because you're my kind of people and you should stick around. And I post videos twice a week, so I will see you in the next one on Sunday. Bye!